Okay, guys. Um, cool. Gonna be a rough day today because I'm trading something I've never traded before. Eurocad. Matron, take them away. And a warm welcome to one and all. And this is your first time here. I am Big Scruff with an over obsession of coffee. And sitting next to me is the wild wonder Winky, who thinks she's a throwback to the 80s at the moment. Oh, I live my life. That's what they used to do, you know, in the 80s when we used to have a sing song. It was, no, it was but good. they wanted to sound like your duck music. My music is fantastic. It's rubbish. It's fantastic. Rubbish. But I have a big in today. That's a great song. Oh, that's song. even worse. Yeah, fantastic. Right, I've been triggered in, so I'm going to flick this over so you can see it and watch it play out. What are we doing, boys and girls, apart from driving me up the wall? Um, this morning, speaking with the guys uh, in, in Morning Call, which we, we have every morning, if you bear with me just a second, and I shall show you. Um, we the, 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 I've lost it. There we are. Every morning we have a, a morning call, face to face. We chat, talk about the issues of the day, what we're gonna do. Today was troublesome Tuesday. So it's a little salute to Mark because he started off really well and brought up some really good ideas of what we should talk about. And I hope the whole group enjoyed it. Now from that, uh Jan, so a little salute to you, my kid. Um asked if I would look at EuroCAD. Now it's not something I look at all the time. So what I've done, I've already done the breakdown, I've gone through the analysis, what I'm looking for, what I see in the market, and how I'm going to trade it. Okay, so they already know what you're about to see. And I take that a little step further by actually highlighting this if they haven't seen it. Now, this sheet is something I use every single day. It's part of my journal and essentially it's a giant filter, but I've worked out on the EuroCAD. I'm going to be looking at the, the product on an hours anchor chart. Now an anchor chart's where you get the direction and your idea from. It's a cell, it's an air trade, so it's pretty darn good. Monitor it and wait. Now, waiting, do you spend, it wasn't quite ready at nine o'clock, but it's now quarter past nine, it's just triggered in. So it's pretty much good to go, okay? And um, what we do in here, well, we have a bit of chat and merriment all day. Um, in answer to Yanis's question there, yes, Black Bull is a good broker, and if you do want a good broker, there's a link for it in the description. Very low spreads, loads of products, and it costs you bugger all to get into it, all right? But from there, we have a jolly old time and, and it's it, it's ICA at the day. It's horrid. It's horrid. Hold on. Let's find out somebody else is icy. Are you being icy today? Are you going to be an ice maiden? No. Are you not? No. Ah, uh, right. Okay. That means I could be in for some fun later, boys and girls. Yes. How does your missus put up with you? Must be my legendary prowess as a lover. <sighs> you must be trading. I am trading. See, it's in profit. Look. What are you doing? Are you working? Yeah. Oh, that's a bloody shocker. I'm always working. Yeah. She, she makes these boys and girls. Look, if you like um, Forex mugs and sort of Forex t-shirts, do support her. Uh, again, links below. Uh, I'm on one today. Why? Well, because Winky says I have to. But let's have a look, see what this chart is all about. It's running into profit. As you've just seen, I've already told the guys that it's going to be short, it's a good trade, and it's about being sensible. All right, so how is it made up? Well, if we come right out, you will see massive drive there, upshift. But that upshift can't last. Why? Because there has to be retracements in it from one time or another. Well, it started here. Okay. Look at the weekly. 
you can see that a little bit more clearly it's gone into a range and it's at the top of the range well if it's in a range and it's at the top well we know how range bound markets work they bounce from top to bottom so that means it can possibly be moving down again that's highlighted here and you can see it pulling in just as we're speaking take it to a four hour it's a multi-time frame analysis there's the waves working it to the very top and now it's collapsing now what you'll see here a big candles moving time and time again and what that shows is volume but then this happens the volume runs out and it isn't breaching any higher so if it isn't breaching any higher it's in for a retracement if it's in for a retracement well then it's coming down and it'll come down into where these blue marks are that are put onto the chart why because the logical points now i only want about 50 quid out of this to top up what i did yesterday i was well ahead of the game yesterday I look for 200 quid a day so i did two days worth of trades yesterday so today i just want to top it up 50 quid and i'll be happy all right so push that down now we're coming into where the trade idea is in the first place now i've targeted that at 50 quid now if i pull that down onto there that's 100 quid okay safe target but we do have a barrier in the middle so how could you well how could you manage this better well we can see the big v all right so it's pushed down it's come all the way up it's failed to make any impact to the top in other words it's not pushing higher so it looks like all of this has run out of steam well if that's the case it's going to come back on itself and just have some logical points now these were made from a fib so if i get all of a fib look at the start pull it from there to there that's roughly where they are boom, 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 boom. down nice and simple okay so i'm happy with that so i'm looking for the quick snap retracement as soon as that says 50 quid i'll take most of the trade off leave a little bit running see if it runs here simple stuff how do you get a trigger you know drop it to a 15 see that it's starting well there's structure which it broke creating the trigger you can fine tune it on a five minute again there's your structure broke how do you get structure well when i was doing the candle count it was back here somewhere one two three four five there's your logical point just put your order underneath so it has to come to you break the structure and pick the order up it has and it's collapsed and now it's chasing down into a key level from here now if i want to be super safe i can start pulling the stop in just like so you know do i need to not not at this moment but you can if you so choose that's it and then let it play out so let it run and I'll come back to you when it's done.
Okay, guys. Um, I'm kind of net positive at this moment in time. Uh, let me show you. So I'm 120 here. It's kind of getting to where I want it to be. This has been a bit of a pain, but this is saving the day. I've got plenty of money out of it, as we can see. Been getting this out. Got a little bit out of Euro CAD. Uh, we got money here, but this is a problem. Now it is falling back into place, but I'm gonna have to make a decision because there's a news announcement in an hour. And that news announcement could be pretty vicious. So I've got to think, do I cut and run? Or do I hold this out? And I think cutting and running is probably the best play. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shut off this, um, all of the Euro CAD. I'm just going to close it off and accept the loss. And now I'm left with this. I'm going to pull that into sort of here. I can't lose on any of this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a trailer here on 3010, just like so. Right. This one's done with, so we're going to discard that. Should you trade it? Well, it, it kind of did what I wanted, but because of spreads, etc., it, it, it caused me a few issues. And the issues were it just not fast enough to get what I want. And I don't particularly want to hold it um, overnight, and I certainly don't want to hold it through a news event. So the sensible choice was just get rid of it. So that, that's what we've done. Um, what we've got now, we've got still got 123 in this. All, well, we can pull it off if we want. We can just sort of say, right, okay, we're gonna cut it out. But this is what we left with. So if you think about this, um, we've still got half decent money left, you know. I could kill it and still be paid, which is what we only thing we bothered about. So the balance there is 270. 270. If we take out yesterday's gas, minus 55, minus 115, we're left with 100 quid net positive. I want 200 quid a day, roughly, as you know. Um, I have that. I can close this off. And I've been paid. So what's the moral of the story here? Well, the moral of the story is start with zero, end with one. Don't matter what happens in the minute. And we can't get it right all the time. Now, with the Euro CAD, if I just pull this back a second. Um, I was right to pull that out. Because it's gone back up again. Now, within this, if I should be able to show you some um, my other workings. This is what I've got built on my other screen. So I'm watching it all the time. I have a pain threshold up here. Okay, just pull that down slightly just so you can see it. So it's come up, it's in and around this area, which is kind of an entry point. It went down to exactly where I marked it. And I should have took it off here, but I was half expecting it to get down into these two because it had good volume inside it. However, this level held it and pushed it back. Now, there's no saying it won't come back, but up here is pain. If it gets up there, then it's a little bit more than I want to pay for this trade. You know, it's getting up into the high levels. And that's not right. And what you're seeing here in the top corner is the DAX is now trailing the stops because it's got stops involved. Uh, it's pulling them down 
all the way. So where are we at? So that's 51. This is getting kind of down to the bottom end of its range as well. Um, let, me, let me just have a little look at this, shall we? Uh, da, 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 five minutes, touching the bottoms of here. We're going to kill this off as well. We, we're going to take the money. So we're going to close all of that off. There we go. And why have we done that? Because it's a sensible thing to do. Um, don't want to be caught in it, and I certainly don't want to run over with it. So that's it. Job done. We are paid, and we paid royally. So for the day, doesn't look great. 409 is all right for two days. But if we look to see what we've done today, 409.7 minus 115 minus 55, 239. That's managing your trades, guys. It's understanding how the market works and what we need as traders. So that's it. Another day done, another wage made. Was it the best wage? Could have been a lot better. Certainly could have been a lot worse. And if I was to advise you to do anything, it's when you're unsure, just get out. And if you've been paid, great. Never hang on in a prayer. That's where most traders fail. They hold on and they hold on and just pray to God they're going to be right. No, it doesn't matter. You know, it's only your money once you've banked it. And if you've got positive, well, that's fine. Happy days. What do you say? I'm busy working. Fuck me, you are and all, aren't you? Hey, she's been on the ball today, boys and girls. She made made me loads of coffee. She's been working. I am. Yeah, you've been good. There you go. Chances. Okay. So if you're stuck, very easy found. Drop in the description and the comments. You find all my contact details. And as always, trade well, keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you all in the next one.